Hi, it's me again. Um, just rambling again, but somebody's asked me how you can add a watermark to a Wix image. Um, and it is possible. So here's a blog post that I'm just writing. And I'm just going to, somebody's just actually asked me right now. So I'm just going to interrupt what I was doing and just show you. So I'm just going to add an image into this blog post. I'm just going to pick any um, image at the minute. I'll pick this one. Right, when you choose your image, you'll see there's a little brush. And when you click it, it says crop and edit. Um, and it brings up this quite extensive menu here. Sorry, my pad's a little bit sensitive at the minute. So you can do all sorts to your image here. You can add effects, you can enhance it, you can move it around, you can all sorts, you can sharpen it up, you can remove blemishes, you can whiten teeth, remove red eye, all sorts of things. Draw on it, whatever you want. But we're going to just add some text. So just click on the add the text and then choose your font um that you want for your um watermark and then i'm just going to add my website as a watermark so i'm just going to click on it click www.craftylittlethingtk.com and then i can change the color if i want so i might go for a nice pink and that's that so then i just grab hold of it and move it to the bottom of my um picture and then i just grab this white handle and i can move it around i can spin it around i can tip it upside down i can make it small i can make it bigger i can do whatever i want with it so just click get it where i want it actually i want it one over here so i'm just going to put it there because i want to put another one underneath so then i can add another one and then i want to add the click in the box i want to add the stamping up copyright as well um i'm just going to put that in white because i don't want it to be too obtrusive click out of the box get it to this whoa it's not straight is it Get it straight. Well, I don't care if it's straight. And then stick that down at the bottom. And when you click out of it, your black box disappears. Uh, you can click back into it to change it to anything you want to change it to. It might change it to a bit grey, so it's even less obtrusive. And then I just apply it, and that's it. And then I save it. Always watch what I'm doing with my um, cursor when I'm doing these tutorials. And then I just apply it as normal and it turns up in my blog post. Make it a bit bigger so you can see it. Um, and then there you go. You've got your watermarks on. And then you can download this picture, as I've said, from your gallery. So if you go back to, uh, from your image library, sorry. So you see here now, this is the image now with the watermarks on. And then if you click download, it's downloaded it onto you, onto my laptop so now i can use that in other things um if i've got things on um instagram facebook whatever that i've already got um subtitle um subtitles <laughs> watermarks on then i can just use those images um straight i don't have to mess about uploading them again or whatever i can just access them because my, my site is linked so that's it basically so there you go uh, really simple, really easy, um, and really useful, especially nowadays where, you know, especially in the crafting world where we, um, we, we like to take ownership of our creations.
So there you go. I hope that was useful.